Good day, everyone. Now we are in lesson 4.5, computing interval estimates of population proportion. Our lesson outcomes at the end of the lesson, the learners are expect to, expected to identify the appropriate form of the confidence interval estimator for the population proportion. Compute the interval estimate of population proportions and solve problems involving confidence interval estimation of the population proportion. It has been become a common practice to obtain data using surveys as this is the basis of decision making. Almost daily, we hear news media report result of some poll. How are conclusion made from count data? These are systematic procedures in statistics in order to make sense out of these frequencies. As with the estimates of the population mean, we want to ensure that our estimates based on the samples contain the true value of the population proportion. Just like the means, we can also form confidence intervals about the population P in a manner analogous to that use for the estimation of the population parameter mu. We can also assign a probability that the interval contains the population proportion. The interval depends on the sampling distribution of p hat, that is, if you were to draw the random samples over and over again, each time calculating a new estimate p hat then the frequency distribution of all the p hat values would be population parameter p. Thus, the p hat is an unbiased estimator of population proportion p. Okay, we are going to recall that the standard deviation of the sampling distribution of p hat is given by uh, q sub p is equal to the square root of P times Q all over N, where Q is equal to 1 minus P. So the margin of error E for the confidence interval of a population E is, is E is equal to the Z sub alpha over 2 times the square root of P times Q all over N, approximately using the uh, estimator of P and Q. So we have the Z sub alpha over to square root of P hat times Q hat all over N. So the formula for computing the large scale confidence interval for population proportion P is, and that is we have uh, P hat minus a Z alpha over 2 square times square root of P hat times Q hat all over N less than the population parameter P less than the P hat plus Z sub alpha over 2 times square root of P hat times Q hat all over N. Or it is in the form of uh, P hat plus or minus the Z sub alpha over 2 times the square root of P hat times Q hat all over N. The following assumptions are made for finding a confidence interval for the popul population proportion. First, the sample is random sample. Second, the conditions for a binomial experiment are satisfied. Again, in computing the interval estimates of population para population uh, proportion P, recall the four-step method. Step one is describe the population parameter of interest. Step two, specify the confidence interval criteria. Step three, collect and present sample evidence. And step four, determine the confidence interval. Okay, uh, let's cite an example. Sample number one, trust the president. A survey of 1,500 citizens showed that 925 trust the president. 
compute a 95% of confidence interval for the propo proportion of all citizens who trust the president. Step one, describe the population parameter of interest. So we have the parameter of interest is the mean P of all citizens who trust the president. Step two, specify the confidence interval criteria. Check the assumptions. By central limit theorem, the sample size of 1,500 citizens is normally distributed. Letter B, determine the test statistic to be used to calculate the interval. The test statistics is the population proportion P. Letter C, state the level of confidence. We have the 95% confidence level. So the alpha is equals to 0 0.05 confidence coefficient is 1.96. So yun yung nasa table ng, ano, ng ating uh, Z-score. Step 3, collect the, and present the sample evidence collect the sample information. So we have a given X, which is 925, and the total uh, respondents is 1,500. Then find the point estimate of P using the point estimator uh, P hat is equals to X over N, where X is 925, divided by 1,500, and it is 0 0.616 and so on. Approximately, it is 0 0.62. Step four, compute the interval estimate. So we are going to find the Q hat as the uh, estimator of population Q. So we have the Q hat is equal to 1 minus P hat or 1 minus 0 0.62 as the value of the P hat. And it is 0 0.38. Next, find the maximum error of estimate and substitute the value of N and Q hat. So by the given uh, formula, we have the square root of P Q times Q hat all over N. And by substituting the P hat, we have 0 0.62 times Q hat is 0 0.38. The product of that divided by into 1,500. Approximately, we have 0 0.013. And find the limits. So by, based on sa ating uh, formula, we have P hat minus uh, Z sub alpha over 2 times square root of P hat Q hat uh, over N. So itong part na to ang magiging ating lower limit. Then yung upper limit naman ay yung P hat plus Z sub alpha over 2 times square root of P hat Q hat all over N. So, substitute natin lahat ng ating nakuhang value. So, ang P hat natin ay 0.62 minus Z sub alpha over 2 is 1.96. And yung value ng ating maximum error E ay 0 0.013. Then, less than P, less than P hat plus. So, ang P hat natin ay 0.62 plus Z alpha over to 1.96 at yung ating maximum error, 0 0.013. So, magiging result ng ating lower limit ay 0 0.515 or rather ang ating lower limit ay 0 0.595 less than P, less than yung ating upper limit naman ay 0 0.645. And the last, describe the results. Thus, with 95% confidence, you can state that the interval from 
59.5% to 64.5% contains the true percentage of all citizens who trust the president. So for our exercises, we have one compute the population proportion interval estimate given by the following uh, A N 300 P hat 0.40 and 95% confidence. Letter B N 420 P hat is 0 0.61 and 90% confidence. And letter C N is equal to 670 given P hat 0.50. 54 and it is 99% confidence. And number two, Ismail conducted a poll survey in which 320 of 600 randomly selected voters indicated their preference for a certain candidate. Using a 95% confidence of interval, what is the true population proportion P of voters who prepared the candidates? And that's it.